message, whatever we're setting it to be, on to this resource. And the way it's uh, going to do that is by comparing the user ID given of the currently logged in user to the user ID or in this case owner ID of the actual resource. I hope I didn't rumble uh, too much on that. Well, please drop me a comment if that wasn't clear enough. But uh, hopefully it will be once we start writing uh, code for it. Uh, so the first step, we are going to take care of this section, the role interface. And that's going to be a model uh, inside of the library. I'm going to call this one user role because it's going to get the role of the current user. And it sounds fancy and difficult, but um, all we are doing here is basically getting the information of the currently logged in user. Okay, uh, so as we've seen in the manual, we must have the get role ID method. Um, but before that, uh, so we're going to put it in. So we're going to put it right in, just so that we remember about it. And we are getting its role, which will come from the role property of the object. Um, now we are also going to be checking against the user ID as I've mentioned before so we also want a user ID property inside there. Uh, now how we're actually going to populate them? Uh, well we will do that by simply creating a construct that gets all this information from the Zend auth. Remember that uh, Zend authentication keeps track of all our identities. I really wonder what happened to my uh, syntax highlighter and code suggest. And same thing for the role. If you are following from my previous tutorials, uh, you will notice that instead of just ID for the user ID, I am using Okay, uh, so we got the uh, role cleared up. Uh, next thing is we want to create the resource for the comment. So each one of these comments is going to be like a resource of its own. 
Again, we're going to create a class for it. Uh, so we're going to remind ourselves quickly to see what it is that we need to have in our comment resource. Uh, we must have the get resource ID method. And uh, this time I'm going to set my uh, properties straight away. Um, I'm going to get an owner ID, which will be the ID of a comment author. That will be this value. And I need the actual resource ID. Uh, that is going to have to be the same ID of the resource that you put into here. So now we're going to uh, later on create a resource for the comments and uh, that same name must go inside of the resource ID here. So it's just for the ACL to be able to uh, link the assertions with um, uh, comments in the main, with the resources in the main uh, ACL object. And of course, for the method that we must have because we're implementing. Oh yeah, I think I um, accidentally forgot to explain what exactly imp implement means. Uh, implement means to create a class um, based on certain rules. And it also creates an object of this instance. So this way the class follows a certain scheme predefined by a Zen framework which in this case we must have this um, method and it uh, gets an instance of uh, this object. Uh, the reason why this needs to be implemented with this particular method name is because the ACL uses some internal calls to these methods when you put the calls to this object in the parent ACL. Uh, sorry this, if this doesn't make any sense, uh, I promise you it will once I um, complete my whole code. But one way or another it needs to get the resource ID of the object of the resource that we're working with. In our case it's the comment for the books.